that is DJ Raj is on the wheel and the artist behind that particular jam that is Sauti Mta is none other than Ramso Latino and we're not just having the music he's actually in the building and we'll be speaking much more on the music remember you can follow us on our social media handle that is at Y254 channel everywhere especially especially Facebook pale ambapo tumeangusha post ambayo inazungumzia msanii ambaye ni calligraphs on the issue about him being uh, nominated for the Afrima awards and other uh, local artists that we have and uh, the post is out there and we are asking do you feel the um, other group of artists that we have ethic sailors and the rest can they deserved or not even deserve they fit to be national national artists we are celebrating calligraph and other um, hip-hop artists out here so make sure you send in your comments what you think about the whole situation at facebook on our facebook page that is y254 channel on twitter y254 channel on instagram is y254 underscore channel and you can reach out to me directly at michelle ashira so the artist that we have in the building as i said earlier on he calls himself as the african latino or the way he'll be speaking much on that he comes from dodoma tz and he's speaking about not dodoma because back in tz it's equally the same right here and he comes from a place known as if I do not I hate this word Kenya Kenya msindo na fa kwa interview rajis you're going all the way in swahilini we have to speak the swahili language so he comes from Kenya Kenya msindo kwenye mpaka wa singida na dodoma he goes by the name as ramso latino on uh, his social media handles welcome to Hold that. Karibu kwenye Karibu kunyumbani. Y254 channel. This is the second time right here and uh, it will always be your home anytime you yeah. release any other music come through cuz we love your jam, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Karibu. <laughs> okay, nashukuru sana kwa hii hapa fursa. Mhm. Mm eh imekuwa hapa ni kama nyumbani na ni sehemu Y254 imekuwa ni sehemu ambayo ina support mziki wangu sana na ni support. Mm -hmm. Mimi pamoja na vijana wengine ambao wanafanya ipaji so kwa mtu ambaye anatizama kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa mimi ndo naitwa Ramso Latino au the African Latino ukipenda unamalizia na hashtag ya Nyaturu Legend au sio mm. yeah you know Rajis when I was speaking with the uh, Latino and I was asking him if uh, he's majorly focusing on hip hop music the, the guy didn't have anything to say cuz he can sing he can rap he's multi talented sasa wakati huu tunataka kujua if he has made the decision to to specifically do hip hop yeah tujua msimamo wake leo tujua msimamo so uh, latino have you decided to do hip hop music as a specific genre or you still you know msanii hatari hutaki kubio categorized in any space yeah okay kitu cha nyemi waambia watu wengi unajua talent mda mwingine ni god gift so mi sizani sikuwa na haja ya kulimit talent yangu mi since day one ili start music mimi nili, nili start kama rapper mm -hmm. na pia nikaja ku realize kwamba naweza imba mm -hmm. so mi kwa si limit ni vile tu passion yangu kubwa imekuwa kwa hip hop kwa sababu naona ndo the, the only na nini inaweza nipatia ile nani ya ku educate watu ya kuwa motivate na nini different na songs za kuimba labda hizi za ku dance dance na nini but for me niko sawa nimesimama na hiyo hip hop yangu imekuwa ni msimamo hiyo nitasema kwa mziki wangu itakuwa like 7% lazima nitafanya kwa sababu ndo kitu nakipenda eh, alafu commercial music nitafanya kwa sababu mm -hmm. tumeona kama sasa hivi nimeona watu wanadai sana hip hop atupe hii support na ofa same nyingi kwa sababu labda iko na limitations zake lakini mm -hmm. nataka sasa kuwapigia dancehall kwa sababu uh. Dance souls dreams kigani mimi naweza fanya any kind of music hata nikicheza piano na imba fresh so chochote ambacho kitakuja mezani na nione naweza kukifanya vizuri mimi nita represent kama Ramso Latino na inakuanga disadvantage ya kufanya commercial music and majorly focusing on that inakuanga nini because uh, at the end of the day it's business and you yeah. need to make money and mm. you, when you create music you create with the agenda that mm. is going to be a banger for the clubs and uh, even yeah. parties yeah. Wewe kama msanii mm. do you shy away from commercial? Nimeona umefanya commercial kadhaa we have yeah. uh, mangoma nimeona addicted sasa. Yeah. So nini na kuanga shida kwa msanii akifocus sana kwa commercial music? Okay unajua music kitu cha kwanza artist huanza na passion by the way bef mm -hmm. before ifikie business. Mm -hmm. Na sasa passion ina depend ulianzia wapi unaelewa? Kwa sababu business before ifikie useme unaingiza pesa hata watu wengi tunge give up kama wakina sisi kwa sababu passion ndio inatufanya sisi tufanye mziki kwa sababu mm -hmm. tunapenda mm -hmm. alafu sasa ikitokea pale unapohangaika sana inabidi uingie kwenye business so business tunaingia tu kama 
kuisnitch tu ile kwa sababu hatuna otherwise lakini reality mimi napenda hip hop na ndio mziki ambao unaweza furahia sana kufanya muda wote then ishu kama nani commercial music ni packaging ambayo inahitaji mm. mimi ningekuwa napenda sana kufanya lakini kuna sometimes unakutana na siwezi kutengeneza hiyo packaging hiyo mziki vizuri vile na feel unahitajika kwenye market kwenye nani standard ya ya kibiashara unaelewa so sometimes naona hip hop kuna zingine unajua hip hop so kama labda nimefanya nimeridhika na video zake sana au audio zake sana but najua kuna vile nangangana nazo at least hiyo content yake itaonyesha nimejaribu na itawafikia watu kiurahisi lakini packaging ya commercial music lazima uinvest sana hasa kuinvest watu kama sisi ni watu wa mtaani tuna hustle tuna struggle before ukaseme kama una management useme wewe mwenyewe ndo team uende utengeneze hiyo packaging vizuri na unaweza tengeneza pia ukishindwa kupromo bado utakosa kupata faida ya hiyo commercial music unayoisema na tunapo you spoke about wewe ni yep. msanii ambao umetoka kule chini you're yeah. a hustler okay. na tukiangazia mziki wako you speak about about social injustice to mm. uh, equality between uh, men and women in the society mm. issues of employment mm. and inflation in the economy mm. sasa mimi ningependa kujua what was life for you while growing up and uh, to the point whereby you recognize yourself as the ghetto king when it comes to music. Sababu ni maono umejitambua sana being a ghetto king on the name of the song we actually played, Sauti ya Mta. Unajua, mi kuna story yangu fulani. Mimi wana fry kwa mba mi hata ni kueducated kwa kupitia life ya mtaani lakini siyo education ya shuleni. Nikona knowledge ya mbao ni meipata mtaani, siyo shule. Kwa sababu kama kwa bongo mimi ni nakumbuka nili ingia class 7, darasa la 7 Tanzania ambao ni shule ya msingi. Mm. Hata siku maliza. Kusikufanya hata mtiani niliacha. So mimi nikiwa kitu kama 15 years ya hapo na dhani 14, 15 years to 16. Mm -hmm. Mimi nilitoka nikuwa siishi nyumbani, nilikuwa naishi mwenyewe. So nilijua 14, kitu 14 ya hapo. Nikuwa tahari na naishi life ya mtaani. Niki struggle na nilikuwa napitia vitu vingi kama mtoto. Kwa sababu nikuwa sija kuwa machua inafu kusema kwa mba nimejitambua. Lakini ndasema labda ni mwenyezi mungu ndo alini guide kuni fanya kujitambua ni juwe mina. Kusama mkua nakutana na watu ambao wanafanya vitu vibaya mm -hmm. na viona na wanataka kuniingiza na na viepuka. Unelewa, especially kama maswala drugs na nini. So nikuwa na viepuka kabisa na wapiga chenga na ukweli mpaka saivi ni mwenyezi mungu alini linda uwa na jitambua. Na kitu ambacho miwa gana nataka kuambia watu kila siku. Uambie? Uwa watu huwa wanajifunza kupitia watu na vitu walivyofanya watu. Mm -hmm. Mtu asiyei kuambia huwezi kuwa mtu fulani. Unaelewa? Au kwa sababu hujasoma au umedrop shule usidhani kwamba huwezi kufanikisha kimaisha. Unaelewa? Mm -hmm. Elimu tu ni mwongozo tu wa kukuongoza kukutoa nani kukupatia fahamu fulani lakini unafaa ujue kwamba wewe ukae chini ujitambue wewe ni nani unataka nini na unataka kuwa nani Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwezesha ukitia bidii na juhudi kwa Mimi msimamu wangu kwa pale kwa sababu mimi najua ile life ya chini. Hata saisi jafanikiwa, sawezi kusema nifanikiwa na chochote, lakini ina step ambayo nita mshukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa sababu. Ni step najua ni meipigania chini na chini na mwenyezi mungu aniwezeshe. So mini kuna zile steps zenye nazieka, nda kwa sababu na mini success ni process. So, siwezi kujua kesho yangu kwa vipi, lakini nakibilia kukuta ile kesho ambao ni the best. So mtu asiwe kuambia uwezi kitu kwa sababu uko chini na ndomani iliwaambia kwenye takeover mm -hmm. unajua hata wajanja walikuwa kama fala zamani ndomana ni rahisi fala kuwa mjanja ila mjanja kuwa fala iwezekani mm -hmm. usimkufuru aliyekufunza sifuri na moja ukamthamini sana huyu wa kumi na moja ujue eh. ni rahisi sana tajiri kuwa maskini ila maskini kuwa tajiri ni trick mm. Dio yo, yo, sasa. Mistari ina mafumbo kadhaa ambayo uh -huh. yanaweza kukuonyesha aidha kama mtu anakuona uko chini kwa saa hivi mm. wewe ndio uko na chance kubwa kabisa ya kwenda juu kwa sababu wewe uko jua hata anaweza kuwa ameridhika lakini wewe ukiwa una fight unafuatilia yes. vitu vya msingi because the only way is up Meski ya msifuate upepo So I'm speaking about uh, your background uh, Kwenye umetoka na wewe kwamba umevalie ile njuga ya kukubali Kwamba nimetoka kule chini yeah. na naelekea place A better place yeah. Nini ambayo uneza eleza kusababu We have uh, artists out here actually faking it yeah. They are faking it on their social media accounts yeah. Their kind of lifestyle And that is one major reason why we mm. have lots of uh, Young people, not just young people, but people who actually in the uh, entertainment industry get into depression because yeah. they want to keep up with a certain lifestyle because yeah. they want to fill in the perception of what people have of them. Yeah. And uh, according to you, what is the importance of someone acknowledging, acknowledging where they come from and uh, what they want to 
getting out of the world and just being truthful. Unasikia track ya mtu mwema nilitoa kwa sababu ya vitu kama hizo. Wengi mm. wana fake na ndio maana wana fail. Ni kama na jiona vile kwenye akaunti zao za Facebook na Twitter. We loved you brother, we loved you mister. Alikuwa mtu mwema akiposti picha zangu Insta. Hiyo nyimbo nilitoa kwa sababu ya vitu kama hizo. Hata mimi <laughs> Mtu usifuate life yangu sana social media itakudanganya kwa sababu life unavyopiga piga mapamba sijui nime shine shine hii mimi na watengenezea nyinyi image mm. mimi nimezaliwa naitwa Ramadhani Hasani lakini nimemtengeneza Ramso Latino ambao na mbrandi na ananitumia gharama kumtengeneza lakini sio life ambayo ni ya Ramadhani Hasani mm -hmm. so huwa hata mimi najisikia vibaya kuona sometimes na fake kwa sababu watu wengi vijana wengi na mentor kule wanajua niko na life nzuri na nini lakini ukweli <laughs> wasani wanakiona cha mtema kuni huko mtaani so huwa nasikia mbaya lakini nilishaingia kwenye dimbu ambalo uh -huh. sifai ku give up okay. nafaa ni fight nijue ni njia gani kwa sababu unajua iko hivi uh -huh. zamani mimi nilikuwa hasla sana nikija hata hapa Kenya mimi nilikuwa ni hasla wa mtaani uh -huh. nitatembea mtaani nafanya haso yote na nini lakini nilivyoanza anza mziki na kajina unaenda sehemu mtu anakushangaa unafanya nini sometimes kama binadamu inakushusha chini unaona inaku disappoint unakuwa disappointed so kama Hauna mtaji wa kutosha kufanya biashara ambazo utaona zinendana hiyo level. Mm. Inakuwa na kufanya, unajificha ficha kufanya vitu zingine hauko free sana kwa sababu. Pia wengine, wataku disrespect. Though, hata kuna nyimbo ilikuwe ni tualeta pesa ni liwatoleaga mahasila kwa mba usio gope mtu anasema mm. we unafanya kazi gani. Unaona? I don't care about you haters. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the papers. I've been hustling night and day. Na saka mapesa shilingi manoti mikwanja wengine uita maankara. Na tia bidi usiku silali mchana sikai sipote zimuda. Wasije kunita kafukara. Niki fukara si bahati mbaya. Mungu kapanga hakuna ubaya. Na hasol hada kote na kava. Bosi na vuka mabouda na madavaja. Weka shilingi mezani uone. Kazi ni kazi hakuna utani hapa vitani. Natoka singida ni ite mnyaturu. E, e, e. So mimi kwa naima yes. wakolea. Hile nyimbo mtu wakisikize na motivate. Mm. Kuna manyimbo kama hizo sana na nini. Rizo ni angu ilikuwa hivyo kwa sababu. Nilikuwa ni changamoto ambazo nazipitia ni kiaso. Sometimes tunaenda mtu anakuonyesha we. You are nothing ya. Unajua? So. Na mimi mtaimizo. Hatu saibi unaona hatu kiwa mm -hmm. ume ukuedukete ya jo mesoma. Hakuna ajira saibi. So kisema tunachagua kazi sana. Hata mimi kuna kazi nazichagua lakini kwa sababu tu ya ura mso latino na mm. I don't feel good kwa sababu naishi na fake life na sikuwa nataka yo life lakini mimi msinifuate mimi najua niko na njia zangu za kusurvive na kujua kumtengeneza ura mso latino mpaka mwenye zimungu wa msaidia pige pesa kupitia mbabazi maonekano ya, kwa hivyo kila mtu wa sifuate maonekano mba wanaona kwa, ya, kwa wasani kwa sababu hizo tunafanya kwa ajili ya unajua wengi mm. sayi watu wanataka vitu fake mindo okay. na shanga indo waldi ambao Watu wa mesoma, wafanya nina, kino wanataka vitu fani, fani, vitu Cause fake. Because they want the first thing. Vitu yeah. mbapa vina fanyika hey, kwa haraka tena. Fake, fake, unelewa. Mm. So inauma sana, inauma, nukiona mtu yuko educated, lakini anataka vitu fake, fake, vitu fani, yani zaki. Ni ya maisha sasa, <laughs> lakini mtazamaji umesikia kutoka African Latino. Just yeah. don't fake it. Be yeah. you. And if you're going to do it for the look and the brand, go for it. Yes? I love to kingaze still on the issues pertaining uh, Usani. Yeah. Kuna kazi unayo. Yes. Ndiyo? Yeah. Kuna kazi nzuri. Sindu Rajiz. Yeah. You are very much talented na mziki wako umekubalika. Yeah. Mbona tuoni latino kwa, kwa bloggers, tunataka upate kiki. Kusababu ukitikiangazi umetoka zile upande wa TZ. Mbako yeah. kule kumeiva katika kukanga kiki, kutengeneza kiki. Na pia uku msaidi zetu tunanza kuchukua uwa mtindo. Lakini mbona uwa umechagua kama msani. Hakuna, mm. we don't hear any scandal. Kuna kiki pale, eti ramsa umetoka na hii kiki. Mm. Uh, mbona umechukua uwa mtindo. Ama even divo uliamua kwamba uh, not... I'm not okay. cloud chasing. Kitu kingine na dhani, alafu pia watu wengi ambao watambui. Mi mziki wangu wa silimia nyingi na fanyaga Kenya, hata seo Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Tanzania tuna endaga kumarketi mziki wangu na kumanyani. Lakini mi nilistatia music hapa na ndo background yangu big. So hata nikienda Tanzania na kaa tu kwa muda nikipakeji vitu, labda na life, lakini enda kubushi. Alafu ikija katika swala la kick. Mm -hmm. Na dhani kuna vitu... Mimi huwa nasikia vibani kifanya kitu fake. Ile mangoma ile danso nilifanya nikawa sina uwezo wa kufanya video na ifikiria nikafanya dance video ya twerk. Ni video mbovu lakini ni strict kwa sababu ya age. Sijapena kwa sababu hata hiyo naomba radhi kwa watu najua kuna watu wengi ambao niliwaudhi. Naomba radhi nilikosea lakini nita soon nitarekebisha kupitia 
na nyimbo mpya ambayo inaitwa Kiocha Jamii ita ita itapoteza hiyo kitu ambayo labda watu wengine hawakufurahia. So, nilitengeneza hiyo kwa sababu ya kutafuta trend ya YouTube. Hiyo mm. video ndio ilikuwa target yangu, unaelewa? Na nilikuwa very disappointed kwa sababu wale vijana wangu wadogo wanaonifuatilia na nini na nini. In fact kuna kaka yangu mm -hmm. alikuja kuniambia sasa angalia vijana wengi wanavyokuwa wanakupenda, wanakufuatilia wakiona hii bwana watachukuliaje bro? Mm -hmm. Najua uko desperate unataka hiyo fame na nini lakini hapa nilisikia vibaya. Kwanza nilifunga hiyo video nililoku kwa siku kadhaa. Kwanza nikifikiria nililoku nikaweka private kwanza kwa siku kadhaa nikifikia lakini bado nikaja kuona all in all bana hii pia nataka kuifanya ni kazi yangu na nini acha tu mtawaomba msamaha kwa njia nyingine ni strict wale ambao ni watoto hawezi kuangalia so kick mimi sijapenda nitengeneze kick kwa sababu i don't think kama na deserve kutengeneza hizo kick pia mm -hmm. nataka unajua mtu wa mtani mtu wa kawaida so, mtu wa kawaida mambo ya kiki sio sana yes yep. so tu, tu, uh, still on the sauti ya mtaa. Yes. Kulikuwa na hizi rumors. Mm -hmm. Tunazitanga rumor report mm -hmm. ya kwamba kuna msanii ambaye aliiba mm -hmm. uh, instrumental zako, kazi mm -hmm. yako mm -hmm. na akaenda akafanya almost the same thing. Mm -hmm. Ajulikana kama Rostam. I hope I got yeah, the name yeah. right. Na atakuona ukijitokeza kusema uh, okay, mm -hmm. this is a copy paste mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Na later on on an interview you spoke about a contract and mm -hmm. uh, actually giving them the opportunity to go and use your yeah. work but yeah. ilikuwa as a cover. Yeah. For an artist who's out there Yeah. If you're in that situation and it is a theft situation, how yeah. do you handle copyright? Okay, unajua kitu kama hicho, mm -hmm. kuna sheria ambao ni ya music, kuna law ya music pia. Eh, kwa pale mini ingetaka kama kuwaletea kesi au kuwashitaki na weza kuwashitaki. Kwa sababu wakini request hiyo nyimbo, eh, walikuwa wafanya kama cover, then later wakaniambia watumia idea ambao walifanya wao featuring mawasama, mm -hmm. watumia idea yao na wamitumia kwenye concert nyingi sana ambao walikuwa ndo wana hype nayo kwa sababu ni track ambao ina hype. Mm -hmm. So different na hivyo tulikuwa na maelewano ambayo, hata mm -hmm. saisi taki kuongelea sana hizo vitu kwa sababu ndo wataona na ataka kutafuta kiki. Ndiyo. Kuna time nilitaka kufikiria hivyo lakini kaona ni nothing kwa sababu, hata sele li trend mindo nilishusha, walikuwa kipigua nikipigua simu na media za bongo nyingi hizo wakitaka kutengeneza hizo kiki sasa walikuwa wanataka kuitengeneza watu wa bongo kwa tv na nini but mimi nilishusha nikaambia hapana haina haja wao ni ma brother wamenizidi jina tumekuwa nao ni wamewafahamu kwa muda nikiwa hata mashabiki wao kama Roma special mm. yes. so mr kituzozane nao tupitie vibaya kama wao wameona ni njia sahihi wamefanya wamejipenda zaidi wakaona agreement ambayo tulifanya labda okay. wanisaidie wani help wa tusiwapatie ya time nyingi sasa twendeleza yeah. so <laughs> mimi nikaambia kwamba mimi uh -huh. ni Ramso Latino mimi naamini Mwenyezi Mungu na naamini mimi haya ndio maneno so. ya Ramso sasa tuangazie your album yes. ama is it a collection of music Panania mm. Panangia yeah Panania Panangia ndio ni album ambayo ilikuwa ime mix nyimbo za aina tofauti tofauti mm -hmm. ndio hata niliwatengenezea wakiingia YouTube pale kwa mm. channel yangu kuna kitu imeandikwa Ramso Latino kwenye nia pana njia mm. unaona behind the music and the album review mm -hmm. ita dhumuni langu ilikuwa ni kufanya kitu tofauti ambacho kita miwa niki nikifanya kitu kingine naangalia mtaani watu wangu labda wadogo zangu nyuma au mtu yote ambao anapata challenges kwenye life ni niliongelea hiyo kupitia song to song kwamba mm -hmm. nilifanyaje hiyo song ni challenges gani nilipitia kufanya hiyo song na ni kwa nini nilifanya hiyo song ili niweze kumotivate mtu au kumuonyesha mtu kwamba hivi vitu vinawezekana mm -hmm. unaelewa japokuwa kuna chalata hicho kitu chenyewe ni kizuri ni kitu hata kinaweza kuwa aired kwa tv lakini kwa sababu ya watu hype ukiwa una hype watu wengi hawezi kufuatilia lakini kitu kizuri kinaweza wajenga watu wengi Penye nia pana njia so ilikuwa ni album ambayo kuna love songs kuna nyimbo zinaitwa sio acha ni pambane nyimbo ambazo zinaongelea message tofauti kuna nyimbo zinaongelea sio about albinos di, na message different different sana about watu mtu yote ambaye anaweza kuwa na HIV ananyanya watu wanamnyanyapa kwa familia kwa jamii unaelewa so ni album ambayo nilikuwa nimetengeneza combination ya nyimbo kama 17 mm -hmm. ambazo nishawahi ku record Okay, Nyaturu Legend. We speak about that ama tungoje tu, tuonyeshe tu vitendo. Okay, Nyaturu Legend uh -huh. kwa saivi na Dani Stay zungumzia sana kwa sababu okay. sige imalizia packaging yake lakini mm -hmm. ni album ambayo itakuja. Na Dani mm. yoso sa, kwa sababu ni misha learn through mistakes. Yes. Na ataka kuimprove kitu different ambacho kitafikia watu watawatona mm -hmm. habisa. Mm -hmm. This is Nyaturu Legend. I'm improved.
So mm. there you have it, guys. Nyaturu, legend, pia na jitambua hivyo, aside mm. from the African Latino. Mm. Uh, take this time, watu waku fikia kwenye social media. Okay, social media zangu, mimi mm. unanipata kwa Ramso Latino. Ramso ya R-A-M-S-O-H L-T-I-N-H-O Ramso Latino kuna fan page yangu Facebook Facebook page peke yake Inkia YouTube naomba support yako subscribe share nyimbo yote ambayo utaipenda hiyo ndo support ambayo unaweza ukamkuza msani Instagram pia nipo nipo sio mjanja sana ku, ku, kufanya ku, ku chat chat hivyo sana lakini pia nipo Instagram at Ramso Latino so same yote ile Twitter at Ramso Latino Njo ongea na mimi mtu wako wa kita Unelewa? You are nigger Yani njoo ni ambio unaonaje Kama kuna sehemu una, una feel ni mekosea Na itaji improvement flani ya unini Tunashare tu kwa sababu sisi ni binadamu We are not perfect ya usio Ndiyo hivyo sasa that is Ramso Latino, Latino. African Latino, Latino. Nyo? Nyaturu legend. legend. There yeah. you have it. Make sure you follow up with him on his social media handle so that you can get the juice of more of his music. And uh, speaking about uh, music, we had uh, put up a poster on our Facebook handle on uh, That Is Y254 channel. And we asked, we're celebrating the fact that Calligraph Jones has been nominated for their Freema Awards 2019. And we have a couple of other local artists from Sailors to Ochungolo Family. And uh, so many others on our poster. Make sure you reach out white. 254 channel on our Facebook page. Your comments are coming through. Thank you very much. We have Koki Gazam and Asem. I think Kali has all it takes to compete in such a world. On the other hand, if we look at Ethic and Ochongolo family, they're good only that their songs have no message. They're just for pleasing the youth. We only, and it was cooking. Then we have none other than Nicho wa Barcelona. And I said, my locked show is on fire. Thank you very much, Nico. Then we got Mungina Nicho Mangi Jonte. And I said, I don't think so. Calligraph, Calligraph Jones has been in the game for quite some time now. Other mentioned group need more exposure. Okay, these are people's opinion on Facebook. And yours could be equally important only if you reach out to us at Y254 channel on our Facebook page. And what we are asking is, do you feel the other local artists that we have highlighted on uh, that poster celebrating Calligraph Jones being nominated for their Prima Awards 2019, they are fit to be recognized internationally? Bring out your opinions. They are very much worth it to us and we appreciate them. At Michelle Lashira is where you can find me. Make sure you stay tuned because DJ Raj has got you on the wheels and another interview is coming your way. And don't forget, Jukali is equally coming through. So you don't want to miss that. At Michelle Lashira is where you can find me.